in the commentary box is Tony Gregg. Good shot. There's a fine stroke out by Madassa. Harry Gomes. Harry Gomes, who uh, was dismissed first ball in the West Indies innings. Beautiful stroke. This one. Fine stroke that. Beautiful square drive and applause there from Madassa. Well, they certainly settled for this start. That ball was wide and slightly over pitch, but... Pretty well dispatched away there by Rizwan. He hit that right off the middle of the bat and it uh, went racing away to the boundary. Round six. Well, it trot his way down a deep fine leg. Two more to Vadasa. Well, there we go, and the crowd appreciating that beautiful throw from Colin Croft. They have got beautiful arms, these fellows. As big as this Melbourne cricket ground is. When they throw them, they throw them straight and flat. Shot. Desmond Haynes. That's well run too. Dasa came back very quickly there. Beautiful placement, that. Last at the moment in the West Indies at the equivalent time, that was after six overs. But the West Indies went along quite slowly with Greenwich and Haynes. Confident appeal there from that uh, delivery from Marshall, perhaps just slipping down the leg side. It did nip back a little bit. And while Rizwan was back on his stumps, there was a big appeal from everyone. Those behind and the bowler himself. But that was a good decision. The ball nipping back off the pitch and going down the leg side. Chipped away nicely over the infield down to Colin Croft. Again, that big throw and a big cheer from the crowd again. Colin Croft partner. That's a beautifully placed stroke. He won't get four, but uh, he's going to look for three. Miss one. And fade back is just too quick for him. Into the over, none for 38. It's a good deflection, it's over square leg. It's back in between the first, ten for three. We're going to look for four. And they're off. Good running. Excellent cricket by the Pakistani openers. The 50's up. And it certainly was good running. So they realised as soon as the fieldman got the ball, he had to throw it. There was no relay man there to make that time any shorter from the time the ball left the fieldsman's hands, which I think. And the batsmen are now crossing again. Back they go. And in fact, they take one on the run. On the throw. No ball called. So, all of a sudden, a little bit of pressure now on the West Indian side. Oh, he's had a bit of a go, a bit of pressure applied by Joel Gunn, and he's out. And it's a shame, really, from his, his line's point of view, because he's playing very well. Andy Roberts takes the catch. The first wicket is born at 53. And what a good start for Pakistan, and a disappointing end for Rizwan. Just not concentrating for a moment, hitting across the line of this ball, which might have just held its own. He was aiming for a hit over long on. In fact, he skied the ball, sliced it up into the mid-off position, and Andy Roberts coming around there made no mistake about the catch. 
eyes on the ball all the time, as you can see. Hands cupped, and in it goes. It's not going to get out of bounds. So the first wicket has fallen, 53 runs of the ball. With 56 for the first wicket, the Pakistan openers had strengthened their team's position, and Javed Miandad promoted himself to three, and went right on with the job. Oh, full pitch, and he whips that down to backward square, and he beats both of them. He beats Garner, who was fine, and Roberts, who was square, and it was beautifully placed. It really was. Well, he had uh, all the time in the world to hit this delivery, which was a juicy full toss there, just outside the leg stump. A lot of wrist in that stroke. Nice shot. Four to square this time. Roberts coming around. Knocks it down. Three for two. Andy Roberts, a very popular player at the Melbourne Cricket Ground, a magnificent competitor, a great outfielder. And that's the danger when you try and bowl a Yorker, is if you don't straight a leg stump. Much in the same vein as Griffith bowled. He's been whipped away, as Bobby Simpson would have done when it's raised to leg stump. Me and Dad whips it away between the two men at uh, fine leg and square leg. Four runs. That's around 42. Oh, lovely shot. Beautiful off drive. for three and gets it. It's a fine off drive from Adassa. Shot. Beautiful cricket shot. That. That's a glorious shot. His toes ripped it forward a square leg. I don't think you'd see that from any player in the world. Well, Koff isn't very pleased with himself for bowling this ball wide of the leg stump. And a lot of bottom hand in that stroke and a lot of power and that absolutely sped over the outfield. It rattled the pickets there. And that being given the room to play that stroke. Well, you just can't bowl this man there. He's very, very strong off the legs. Kept it away once more for four. Very strong in that area. And he's keeping up, keeping up the tradition. Good shot, just whipping it away behind square. And excellent running, Java taking on Colin Crossthrow and getting in easily at the end. So that's Modassa's 50. Well played by Modassa. Had a horrid time in the first test against Australian Perth, but it's come back here now and. Uh, Hold him, cut it back, sneak between bun and pad, and Modassa's fine innings is ended. Bowl by Marshall, and Pakistan moves their second wicket for 120. Big a delivery from Marshall, and Modassa looking to play across it, getting it away on that onside. Should have played it straight down the wicket, and it's a good breakthrough for the West Indies. Just the one they needed as Modassa makes his way back. Out for 51, bold Marshall, and Pakistan two for 120. That wicket there, breaking through, ball rolling back from the bottom of the bat, and Mansur Akhtar is bowled. A good bowling change by Clive Lloyd, bringing Marshall back. He's knocked over the Mudassa, and now Mansur Akhtar by bowling purely and simply at the stumps. They play every ball on its merits, and a good delivery from Malcolm Marshall. Mansur on his way back, bowled Marshall for two, and Pakistan slumped to three for 124. Slice on her way down back with a square. There's a long run here. And his position at third man for Bacchus. And the bat's going to get through 4-3. So three for 133 at the end of that 30-second over. Andy Roberts goes to me and Dad. He's got that one away. Very fine. 
Not even Garner can beat that. Interesting tactical battle going on out there. The umpire comes into it because he's already called wide for Andy Roberts going down the leg side. Hurting off way down the leg side again, but this time Jav and Meandad getting a little bit of bat on that. And uh, Joel Garner down at fine leg is quite square. Oh, good shot. Beaten Roberts at mid on. Fine striker. That was a beautiful shot, and uh, it was very well hit and had to be because Roberts is quite deep there and uh, ball pitched outside off stuff over pitched. And, Roberts, although he only had three or four yards to his left to go, to stop that one, was hit far too well to allow him to get there in time. It's a good shot. It's beaten Andy Roberts way out there at uh, Long Ron. He'll stop the four, but they just allow two to march it. Nice roll of the wrist there. Safe, didn't quite time it. Even Jarvet has to hurry a little there. Larry Gomes, who hasn't got quite the strongest arm in the West Indies side. And on the other side of uh, deep midwick at this time. Bacchus coming around, Desmond Haynes after it. Up comes the 200 in high excitement here at the MCG. Some great running between the wickets. They're both exhausted at the moment. Jarvis fitter than Marjid. They're both puffing and panting there. But they're in with a real chance. 43 needed from 5.3 overs. Have to hard, go hard here. And that was a run-out chance. Clive Lloyd, the fielder. At the end of the over. 43 runs needed. And so the Pakistani batting guard, Adessa made 51. Rizwan, 14. Meandad still there with 69. And Sur, bowled by Marshall. Beaten for pace there for two. And Majid now, up there on 53 for 204. Javid on 70, Javid me and Dad. And he gets it away well over square leg, well placed, going out towards the boundary, and it could be four. And that's a great start. And he rubbed screen once more down leg side. Well, that's a great blow for Pakistan, Roberts pitching short he can't do that in this situation because that enables Meander to open all the angles and place the ball wherever he wants oh he's giving himself room and he could be out yes and that's the vital breakthrough the first time we've seen Jarvan Meander give himself much room gets an edge and Murray takes the catch what an extraordinary shot Meander outside the leg stump and outside edge in that this is the only time I've seen anybody caught off the outside edge down the leg side and that is a tremendous blow with Roberts keeping the ball up for once and gaining the reward. Four for 212 now, Pakistan. With Javid gone and victory still a possibility, the question was could Imran help Marjid get Pakistan home? Bowled the first ball to Imran Khan and he's clean bowled him as clean as a whistle. And Imran having no option but to go for the stroke and Roberts keeping that ball up on a good length. It was a good ball too, wasn't it? Because it moved from leg stump just outside leg stump to hit leg stump. So Andy Re Roberts is on a hat trick at a vital stage of the West Indian side. It could be one of them at straight, well struck, but he's coming around and field, so we pick up two. That's the way to go, Frank, straight down the ground. 
It certainly is, and uh, Raja's just the man to do it, strange though it may sound, because uh, against lesser bowlers, he has, I think on one occasion, struck 100 in about 30-odd minutes. He was in the league. And that's the type of player he is. Fix that down to final act, three for one. Good feeling, good throwing. Nine balls now remain. Total now separated by 20. That's a kick hit, he's under it. And that's the difference, he's out. Roll court. Back is there at mid wicket, taking a well judge catch into the sun. And Magic departs for 56. Well, it might seem to be a little bit rash, but Magic had to do that. And not only is he caught out, he's given out. And so Majid departs for well compiled 56. The total now six for 221. One, we look for two. Nick Games, the fieldsman, happy with one. So the West Indians probably get away with this game, but certainly uh, Pakistan have played very well certainly have against this fast attack of the West Indies. One would say that the West Indies side is absolutely tailor-made for one-day cricket. The wicket certainly has been slow and helped the Pakistan batsmen. I well, we can't quite work out what that tactic's about when you have to hit fours and you're pushing for one. Um, four balls remaining only. And he's going to hit... Four sixes there in trouble. How often has that been done? But that's what's needed because uh, anything else would be less than adequate. That's a good hit. Ball safely. They're through for a single. Coming back for the second. And they make it. Yes, with eight. The five overs remaining, they were really in with a chance, Pakistan, but they've just got to get away from them. Full credit to Clive Boyd and their bowlers. Three balls remaining, 20 runs required. Three sixes won't even do it now. And well bowled. A little bit of wild throwing there, and that's what the West Indies don't want. That was well bowled, wasn't it? well up right on the toes no room to swing and Raj I was compelled to play that sort of a stroke two balls remaining and victory for West Indian side swing and a miss one ball remaining so Pakistan go down when they had a real chance and they've played very well and I think we must give them due credit for the way in which they've tackled this total 245 Ashraf now just taking his helmet off uh, Juraja, I beg your pardon Ashraf facing up it's one doesn't even take it they decide that that's enough so a victory for the West Indian side who won it with a fine century by Gordon Greenwich